Today on 3D Chill, we're gonna print and put together this Millennium Falcon 3D card kit by Fixum Dude. If you wanna follow along with me, head on over to Thingiverse and download the files. The link's in the description below. Even though this is a fairly simple job, it's still gonna take you several hours to print. In my case, it took a little over eight hours on fine quality. It's interesting to think that this was one of the most popular freighter designs in Star Wars, considering you never see another one in the movies. For this project, I used a needle file kit. You may need one to open up some of the holes to allow the pegs to fit. You'll also need a good set of nippers. Of course, I won't need them because Jedi powers and all of that. Yeah, those pieces went everywhere. Let's grab parts E and parts F. We're going to put them together to form the cockpit. Part B makes up the bottom side of the ship. With the cockpit assembled, you can attach it right here. Did you know the iconic style of this cockpit was inspired by the World War II B-29 bomber? Part D consists of these two identical panels. These are going to make up the sides of the ship. It really doesn't matter which way you put them on. Part G consists of these two circular pieces, which together make up the escape pods that are on both sides of the ship. Part C is this long rectangular piece. These are the drive units of the ship. This part of the build can be a bit challenging. It took me a few tries before I got it right. You'll need to be careful not to snap off the pegs while trying to curve the piece around the perimeter of the ship. Here's another place where the hole just wasn't big enough. This is a perfect use case for this needle file set. It's definitely come in handy for several of these card kits. Once the hole was enlarged, the peg could fit right in. I like the way this piece wraps around the back. It's a really nice touch. With part A, we can finish up the rest of the ship. And once again, I ended up having some issues with these holes. Thankfully, the file kit came to the rescue. I probably could have forced the peg through, but I didn't want a chance snapping them off. Once you have everything lined up, make sure to press gently all around the perimeter of the ship to make sure the pegs are snapped into place. To finish off this build, we'll need parts H, I, and J. These three parts will end up making the radar dish. If you have big hands, this part's going to give you some trouble. These two parts are so tiny, it took me longer than I cared to admit to get them together. But once you get it together, it makes a pretty solid connection. Do you know why this radar dish is round and not rectangular? If you know, let us know in the comments. This was a fun kit to put together. It was well designed and it's fairly solid without any glue. And with the radar assembly attached to the frame, you got yourself one sweet looking piece of junk, as Luke would say. If there's one spaceship above all spaceships in the history of spaceships, it's gotta be the Millennium Falcon. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts. And after printing your very own, now you too can make the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to see more like it. Happy printing.